Hey snackers, it's finally here. I have great news for you. DevNet Expert Exam has officially been announced and in Snack Minute episode 44, Amir Programmability Lead Julio Gomez and Cisco Distinguished Engineer Joe Clark go over how to start your journey to become a DevNet expert. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey, everyone. Matt Tanapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 44 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10 minutes weekly all things DevNet where we talk about coding, APIs, and just some cool stuff that you'd like to know about. And the cool thing we're going to talk to you about today is, wait for it, <laughs> the DevNet Expert Exam. You've all been uh, waiting for it. It's been a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, it's all ready to go. <laughs> uh, with our returning guests, Julio Gomez and Joe Clark, do you guys mind introducing yourself? Yeah, my name is Julio Clark. And these days I'm lucky enough to be running a program of the across the UNIR. But I'm mostly famous because I'm friends with Karim and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, yeah, I, 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 can, I can join in that as well. I know both of them. Um, my name is Joe Clark, a distinguished engineer at Cisco. Um, like Julio, love programmability, love automation. I'm very excited about this, uh, this new DevNet expert certification. Are you both CCIEs? I am. Yes, sir. Julio, how about you? Okay, so I presume that you guys got those a while ago. Um, can you please let us know why something like this uh, would be interesting to you um, and adding on to the CCIEs you already have? I'll, I'll speak for myself. So I, I did get mine back in 98, um, back when it was a two-day, sorry, 99, back when it was a two-day test. Um, and I remember I was doing network management. I was in tax supporting network management at the time which was software. I actually was coding in Perl and, and, and Java uh, back when they were hot. And I thought, <laughs> you know what? I'm not really, I mean, I, I've learned the networking. I've studied BGP excessively. Um, but as soon as I got my CCIE and I did the happy dance, I said, you know what? I'm really not doing this. My, my job is more operations. My job is more mm -hmm. on the software, the management side of things. And so when things like embedded event manager and tipple scripting opened up at Cisco, that was what really interested me. So you can imagine that this, a, a, an exam at the expert level where we're, we're making automation and program, we're, we're saying that these skills are critical for this, this, this senior and seasoned network engineer. Um, this really speaks to my soul. This is the kind of thing that, that <laughs> I want to assert that I have and, and that I am great at. Yeah, and it sounds like it's been about 20 years coming too, Joe, so that's great. Um, Julio, what's your perspective on that? Well, uh, it's, it's a very similar story. And, uh, you know, like, like Sergeant Pepper said, you know, it was 20 years ago today. Well, in my case, almost. <laughs> um, and I still remember really vividly, you know, the excitement as if it were yesterday, getting into the beautiful world of routing protocols, ARP tables, spanning tree, well, maybe not, not that one, but, but everything else was kind of new and magical. <laughs> you know, and, and these days I feel, I feel exactly the same way. I the same kind of excitement when talking about all things APIs. You know, it might be automation, Python, REST, of young data models, infrastructure as cloud and multi-cloud. We are just crossing the chasm, you know, from the old way of doing things to an amazingly brand new way based on automation, integration, and, and, and innovation. And our new DevNet Expert certification is, is kind of the bridge to that new world, right? It encompasses all relevant technologies for networking engineers willing to, to morph into this next generation, net DevOps engineers. So this is our future. So how could I not be interested? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So, so Julio and, and Joe, uh, this kind of next question to you is, um, you guys are both CCIEs, obviously, you're great network engineers. How does the, you know, the DevNet expert exam help you with your daily activities? And would it actually, would I need to know what BGP is? Well, in my opinion, at least, you know, managing networks is, well, in fact, any kind of infrastructure, it's kind of hard. And, and maybe it is because I'm just too lazy. But it always seems to require a lot of work, right? 
since day zero when you have to deploy everything and, and get everything up and running. And configuration changes across big networks. They also require a lot of effort, resources, consistency, and doing things. And it gets even harder when you get to, to run those changes during a maintenance window at 2 a.m. You know, we human beings right, are not very good at doing repetitive things, you know, while sleeping. So uh, the whole life cycle is challenging for me. And the bigger the network, the more challenging. So the new definite expert certification kind of gives us engineers all their required superpowers, you know, to not only manage networks at scale, but also to innovate by creating things that maybe did not exist before. So does your director, for example, dream about having a dashboard that displays all the specific metrics that are relevant to their business? You can create it with APIs. Or, or does your IT department dream about infrastructure automatically opening tickets? You know, when there's a problem, when there's an issue, you can create it. But for me, that's kind of mind blowing. So again, how could I not be interested? Yeah. Joe, do you have anything to add to Julio's uh, Julio's ideas there? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll touch on that that last question you asked. You still need to know BGP or insert network concept here. Julio mentioned dashboards and metrics and and being able to automate a, a or innovate at the network level with automation and APIs. If you don't understand what you're automating, if you don't understand the nuances of it, be it BGP, be it just adding VLANs to networks and making sure those VLANs propagate everywhere, you're not going to do very well here. So yes, you do have to know what you're what you're automating. And and I'm you asked how we're how we're going to use this. What is what is it going to mean to us? Um, I'm using these skills every day. So internally, we've got a, a project to reinvigorate our learning and certifications data center uh, with an automation first mentality. And I'm helping um, with that, with the with the design and the rollout of that, using all of these automation or, or infrastructure as code type of practices, uh, that kind of discipline. And you have to know the network, the underlying network. Like when we're using Cisco NSO to automate configuration changes, like adding VLANs or connecting ports or creating VPCs across Nexus 9K switches, you kind of need to know what those parameters are to build the templates, to understand the Yang, uh, the Yang leafs you want to uh, create as part of your model, and then the Python code to, to glue it all together and make it work. And fingers crossed, Cisco Live Europe is coming up, and, and I helped to, to run the network there. And we're also building out, we're starting to build out our infrastructure there. We're very hopeful that it's going to happen. And uh, with all of the automation practices that, that I've learned in these past two years, and I continue to grow, I continue to learn and evolve, it's the same thing. We're bringing out sources of truth. We're using Cisco NSO. We're trying to drive things with a very automation first mentality. So absolutely, it means a lot to me. I'm, I'm, I, I love this. I'm using this uh, in my day job. And yes, you need to be, as a network engineer, to automate, you still need to be that, that network engineer and have those network chops. Hey, Joe, while we're on that topic, can you just touch a little bit, and I'm sure we're going to have a link to the Blueprint, but could you touch a little bit on the topics of the Blueprint, me going into, you know, preparing into the, to, to the DevNet expert, and it's not... CCIE DevNet, we got to make that clear. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the DevNet expert exam. Um, what are the some of the topics that I should be, you know, familiar with? Uh, well, absolutely. You mentioned the blueprint. So definitely snackers go check that blueprint out. You're going to be faced with first three hours of design, and that's going to look at, at kind of best practices around automation, around securing uh, network automation, things like how would I go about integrating a, a, a CICD workflow into my organization? What are some of those best practices? How can I bring uh, forth a team and make use of some of these practices? And then you're going to dive into the five hours of, of what we call the do. You're going to develop, you're going to oper uh, op uh, operationalize and then optimize some of these these solutions. And that's going to involve infrastructure as code with tools like NSO, with Ansible, with Terraform. I know, Julio, you're looking at, at containers and, and uh, container orchestration architecture there. Um, and we're also looking at, at straight up network programmability. Sharpen up those Yang chops. Look at what, what RESTConf and NetConf can give you. Look at what you can pull off of the network in terms of, of telemetry. 
Um, and, and one of the things we're striving for, and Julio and I are both on this team, is making an exam that feels practical. Not that feels like a science project, but things that you as a network automation expert, um, as that Cisco certified Dev DevNet expert, will see yourself doing day in, day out. Matt, I'm pumped. Are we going to do this on day one? I don't know. After hearing that list of uh, technologies and things I got to bone up on, I, I mean, I got some of it, but poof, that's a lot. <laughs> we're just going to do it, man. Commit and do it. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, maybe I'm in. All right. We'll all right. see. <laughs> so we just got the, a list of a bunch of technologies we got to worry about. Um, we kind of got a feel for what the exam's going to kind of put us through eight hours. Jeez. Um, I took two back to back. Uh, I took the DevNet Professional and the DevNet uh, Enterprise Networking back to back. Those are, I don't want to say just, but those are multiple choice exams. Um, and uh, I know this is a little more hands on and, and experiential oriented. oriented. That's a mouthful there. Um, but Julio, can you get a, uh, give us an idea of ways that people can maybe start to prepare now um, for when we're able to launch this publicly or actually in production? Absolutely. Even though there is not an official training, you know, that you can take and, and really go through this, you, you have kind of the equivalent to the theoretical exam that we were doing previously for the CCI, right? And that's kind of the dev core exam that you have right now that will get you also into professional, definitely professional. So that's a very good starting point, you know, both the training, the official training that you have there, but also, you know, passing that exam will give you a very nice overview of what, what topics you need to cover. But furthermore, if you want to dig a little bit deeper into the, the rabbit hole, you can just go and take a look at the blueprint because next to each one of the sections with the percentages that you need you know, to, to invest in each one of the sections, you also have specific learning labs and materials that DevNet offers that are readily available for you to get started. So things around containers, version control, infrastructure as code, you know, Terraform, NSO, you know, all the different topics that will be relevant to you. And I would like to reflect on something that I think is very, very interesting about this blueprint. Not only it's very detailed, so you can really get a feel of what you need to, to learn and where you need to invest your time, but also that the kind of skills that you need to learn for DevNet Expert will not come naturally for us classic Cisco engineers. We need to do a, a conscious effort you know, to invest our time to study on these specific topics, because they are not the evolution of the classic OSPF, BGP, and VMAPs. No, it, this is a different world. So let's all make sure that we make that conscious effort to morph into next generation net DevOps engineers. The real world is a future career in the brand new world of automating everything. And I mean automating everything so that lazy people like me can be very, very happy in the daily sales function. Well, I mean, I think that that is a, a good way to end this DevNet Snack Minutes. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have, Julio. That's an excellent sentiment to close it out. Um, everyone, uh, check out the information on the blueprint for the DevNet expert and keep an eye out for uh, release dates when you can start scheduling your testing. Uh, thank you guys again and, and catch you next time. Thank you, Snackers. And thank Thanks. you, Julio and Joe.